day three. And you know the drill, cuties. I need me some coffee. <laughs> but I was looking at the schedule and it looks like today is gonna be the hard day where there's just way too many courses that I wanna check out. But I think out of the three that I could possibly be interested in for this first one, I think I have made a determination. So we're heading over to the Hyatt Regency to get up on that um, and to check that out soon. So we're crossing over now, walking over to that hotel, we're gonna grab a cup of coffee and it should be just in time uh, for the event which ironically is one of their new access features that they are offering um, for some of the security and, and allowing login and port and ports to be open. So just in time, it's the name of the game. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm nerding out a little bit. So we are seated for our first session of the day. Day three, implement a secure and well-managed strategy for your Azure resources. And look, really cool poster. Uh, dealing with security and operations manager. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna give this one up to my, my, C, my CISO or not. Maybe if he gets me some coffee, I'll give it to him. But for now, time to see what they have to offer. And, and I really appreciate you uh, coming here this early in the morning uh, to attend this, I think, important session, uh, which is focused on security and management for Azure. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm going to focus on uh, running an Azure today. And so here you can see um, a set of virtual machines that are running in Azure, and you can see their security posture. So what you see here is um, that same web server actually that was compromised with ransomware. You see the processes that are running on that server. You see the incoming clients. And you see the back end connectivity it has. All right, so the first session ended. It was very similar in content to what I checked out yesterday in regards to Azure and security and operations manager. However, what I'm beginning to realize is that I like doing these courses, even if the content's kind of the same, the demos are kind of the same, the way that each presenter presents it is a little different each time. <clears throat> um, touching on different kind of use cases and uh, how they show those examples or talk about those examples. And what and it's really beneficial actually because it kind of brings it full spectrum. I don't know if you could hear me over that bus, but it brings it full spectrum. So you're able to kind of see it the first time, kind of absorb it a little, and then see it again, and maybe a different use taste that you can actually grab onto um, in order to understand that content a little bit better. Um, all in all, it is, it is bringing me into the fold, so to speak. I, man, I really want to bring this into our environment and trying to get people on board and not only understanding it, but really championing it and embracing it. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to see what my next course is. I think the one that I am going to try and get to deal specifically with the government arena. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what kind of stuff they present there. So I'm going to grab another cup of coffee. I know that that seems to be the theme of this whole conference, but I'm going to grab another cup of coffee and then we are going to check out that session. All right, so I have a little bit of time before my next session. So I think I'm going to check out the immersion zone, which is kind of this hands-on area where you can touch and manipulate and 
actually test out a lot of the stuff that they are uh, dealing with. So let's check that out. down this hall someplace uh, just look at the signs and see I guess found it so now I just wait uh, looks like we've got about 30 minutes I might try and find a plug to charge my phone while I wait all right Azure government hopefully I can get a bit more than what I already know about our subscriptions and whatnot so this should be very informative and it's a bit longer than some of the others so that should be kind of cool as well we want to make sure everyone can answer the question what is azure government so in short azure government is a sovereign cloud dedicated to u.s government customers now what do we mean by sovereign cloud so express our we is a technology you know we really encourage our customers to get on board with if you want to just move everything to the cloud, that's great too, but ExpressRoute enables you to have those hybrid scenarios. Maybe you want to move your web apps to the cloud, but you want to keep your database in your on-prem data center and use that high-speed private ExpressRoute connection for them to talk to so-called hybrid situations. ExpressRoute is a perfect technology for that. So it's really important to emphasize, you know, our cognitive services out of the box are great, but the things that Vishwas is showing you is where you really unlock the power of being able to do these custom workloads. Imagine a few years ago when we had the Boston Marathon bombing. The law enforcement was overwhelmed by the amount of images being sent in from the public. And it would have been nice to say, anytime you see a white baseball cap in any image, immediately identify that. Or even more complex scenarios where, let's say we have a video where someone comes into a video and drops a bag and walks away from the bag in a crowded area. And these are the types of custom scenarios that uh, this type of technology enables. Adopt the police officers to the left and the map here is on the right. So I'm gonna to start to make things happen here. I'm gonna click this guy, and his pulsar has been withdrawn. I'm gonna uh, do on the light bar, and you can see things are happening over here on the map. I'm going to uh, open the trunk down here, and let's, again, okay. The body camera is activated, and as I've been doing that, you're able to see over on the right, these real-time uh, alerts that have popped up. <laughs> All right, it's lunchtime, guys, and it is crazy in here right now. The amount of people coming to get some food. But I think I can take mine to go so I can kind of get off to my next session. Wonder what's on the menu. All right, so we got our food, and I'm taking it to go off to the next course which I also think might be in this building so it's kind of a win-win. Alright so here's what we got. I think it's roast beef, some sort of pasta, half of a cookie I think, and a little bit of fruit. I'm also in a Robin Mountain Dew. lunch really quickly I'm moving into the next session on managing Microsoft at enterprise scale um, this one's gonna be huge I think so I'm really excited all right so it looks like we found some power so we should be good to go so the mindset and the culture of the team plays um, a big role in shifting and transforming um, the organization so that was a key learning for us. The second. So can I just say that today at Ignite, 
they are knocking it out of the park with the sessions. Every single one I've been to has been so helpful and so informative. The one I just left had to do with policy and governance and really making that assessment and having a roadmap. And what I took away from that is it's not about shifting bias, it's actually shifting pass. And really taking stock on what you have in your environment and really honing in on that collaboration and figuring out how to strategically leverage that, whether it's through SaaS, um, then moving down the chain to pass and possibly IaaS as a last resort. It's also about putting that real, real expectation of not everything's gonna live there. And that, and that we already kind of knew, but just all in all, the whole spectrum, everything that I'm gaining is just phenomenal today. And I really can't wait to see what else is in stock. The next one I'm about to head to is do's and don'ts um, with Azure. So I think that's gonna kind of round out that, that tone of what I've been kind of experiencing all throughout the day. And then there's one more thing, which is the fact that culture, culture keeps coming up time and time and time and time again. And I think that that is a hurdle that everyone that is trying to get into this space is dealing with. And I think it's something that needs to be addressed. Um, and so it's kind of nice to see that all these other organizations are going through that same pain point when trying to shift to this new innovative model, which is really kind of sweeping every organization and really setting a completely different tone to how technology and that digital kind of landscape is impacting all of those different organizations. So with that, I'm heading off to the next course. All right, so I'm gonna take you along while I go find a snack. Um, can I just say the last session that I had was the most invigorating one I've had to date. It was a jour do's and don'ts. It was a session with round tables where they just sat you down with other professionals in that same arena and we just talked. We got to know one another, where we're at on that journey, um, our pitfalls, things we're struggling with, um, advice from others that have already overcome those challenges. Um, and for me, the most powerful point was being able to interact and find people to connect with, which is what I've wanted to do the whole time I've been here. Um, and it was interesting because these two gentlemen um, ended up being in the education sector, which is very similar to the sector that I'm in. And it sounds like they are experiencing some of those exact same challenges. And just being able to talk with them and hear their exact same um, issues and be able to relate um, was kind of a breath of fresh air because sometimes it can be a little intimidating when you talk to others um, who are also kind of in that space. And to see that they were kind of up against some of those same challenges really honed it back in so I felt good about that and I'm looking to actually stay in touch with them as time goes on just to kind of continue to find out about their journey um, and how they're overcoming some of those obstacles so today has been a winner winner chicken dinner I am loving it and now I think I found the snacks so I'm gonna go grab some okay. coffee coffee just one this spoon this spoon is inside okay uh, strawberry, please. Strawberry. Thank you. Okay. Ice cream. Yum. Ice cream goes great with Cheez-Its. <laughs> All right. So that is a wrap on the day. Got some great thoughts. The geek inside of me from just observations is really kind of curious how much data is moving through this convention with all these people, whether that's using wireless, whether that's how much cell phone data, um, whether that is just through all the different engagements, how much money, how many footsteps everyone's using. Like I said, it's even the little things or really honestly the big things um, that fascinate me separate from the actual event itself. But 
all in all, today was a great day. I think I'm gonna call it quits for the day. Um, and uh, can't wait to see what tomorrow may hold. So hopefully you stop back and see what that particular journey is like. Hopefully it's as awesome as today was. But seriously, I just walked back into the building that I was trying to walk away from. I don't know how that happened. I feel like I just went through a time warp. <laughs> but somehow, I just walked back into the same building that I just walked away from. How is that possible? <laughs> I think Microsoft has created a time warp. That's the only, that's the only reasonable explanation. So, <laughs> we're heading back again. Round two, trying to get to the South Conference area. Ooh, people mover. Yes, I will take that opportunity on a people mover. Any chance that I can save some of my legs. But I do feel like I'm going at warp speed into the future. Yeah. So slow now. There's my bus. Time to get back on the bus. No! went the bus but hopefully another one should be arriving in the next 10 minutes and then we'll be heading home yeah. all right that is a wrap I made it home safe and sound Surprisingly not as tired as I've been in previous days, but I think I'm just going to take it light and easy tonight because tomorrow is actually going to be a super, super big day. I think I'm going to probably have two vlogs that are going to be coming out, one on day four of the conference as well as our experience at Universal Studios in the evening. Um, apparently they're shutting the whole park down and only allowing a private, not a private party, but a party just for the Microsoft people. Um, they've got Halloween Horror Nights going on uh, right now. So I'm trying to save all the little bits of energy that I do have for the festivities tomorrow. So with that, I am going to say good night. Bye.